Recent reports indicate some people are experiencing serious gastrointestinal issues after eating hot Cheetos or Takis. Dr. Salim Sarani joins us. You say this is controversial. One kid had his gallbladder taken out. I mean, really? Is that you well, think? Depend on how much you eat. I mean, we all enjoy <laughs> eating it, but you know, and just the, the, the tons thing is, and tons. if you look at it, one ounce of Cheetos is 160 calories out of that 11 gram of fat. So, you know, if you had take a bag of Cheetos, that's about 44 gram. Our daily requirement for fat is somewhere between 40 and 77 grams. And this kid was eating four bags of Cheetos. So you can imagine he was Oof. eating three times the normal amount of fat. Overdosing on. Overdosing on fat and the obesity, and then you have a gallbladder problem. So that's one of the challenge you have, but it is not the most common thing you see in uh, eating those Cheetos. But have you ever tried eating it? It's spicy. They are spicy. It burns your stomach lining. And you know what, what tastes good in the mouth? your stomach feels it. And especially as you get older with age. Um, I know it's a favorite food if you're playing games at home on the, you know, on whatever box you're playing on or if you're road tripping, you know, I know you don't want to rub your eye with it. I can just, the chemicals they put in there, I mean, they're obviously approved by the FDA. And well, you know, the thing is, it's just like, you know, depend on every person has a different tolerance for the uh, spicy food. Uh, for example, I used to be able to tolerate a lot of more spicy food, as you say that, you know, over the period of time, you feel it. Some people cannot take this spicy. So when you're taking a lot of a spicy food, it is causing a problem with your stomach lining, and a lot of the kids are going to the emergency room and going to the doctor with a burning uh, in the stomach. They have a heartburn. They have a really abdominal pain, and those are all preventable. I mean, if you look at it, schools have started banning in Pasadena in California, those were the first, the ban in 2006. Then in 2012, a lot of the schools came on board and they start banning because this doesn't provide an adequate nutritional value. So if you're going to the school, you want to have a very nutritious food and we are trying to go away from a lot of the junk food. So this is nothing but a junk food. If you take a one or two piece, that's okay, but you know, going with the bags, you're asking for trouble. Maybe just smashing it up and sprinkling it over your turkey sandwich, give it some extra flavoring. Oh, I don't what, know. What is it that as we get older, it's more difficult for us to handle these uh, spicier foods? Why does that happen? It's, it's just the... Uh, the way we uh, break it down? No, it's the main thing is your stomach lining is there. And if you're going to have a more acid productions, your reflexes are there, it causes a lot of burning sensation. And when you take a very spicy food, whether it's in the form of Cheetos or where you take a jalapenos or habanero sauce, those are very, very tough to handle as we get older. But even as a kid, when you're a little, again, you have the same challenges. Your linings are not as strong, so you actually have more challenges also. So I think, you know, don't try it in a big bags if you want to have it couple of them in a very simple moderation Get a friend a to buy it and try it, and then, yeah, I'll take a little piece of that, too. And wash your hands. And wash your hands. Like I said, no rubbing the eyes. That's the worst. Dr. Sarani, thank you, sir. Appreciate Likewise. it. Likewise.